Right. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of uh, Premier Rachel Notley and the government of Alberta, good afternoon. The fires in northern Alberta have had a devastating impact on communities in the regional municipality of Wood Buffalo, and this includes small businesses. In fact, some have either been destroyed or damaged, while others have been severely impacted and are still experiencing significant business interruption. As you know, these same businesses were already struggling from the prolonged collapse in the price of oil. With the wildfires, employers in the region have been dealt an additional blow. This is why our government remains fully committed throughout the recovery process to support the rehabilitation of disrupted businesses in the region and to work with partners to ensure business owners have access to the support they need to reestablish their operations and support their employees. It's, the very, it's that very commitment that brings me here today. In partnership with the Regional Municipality of Wood Buffalo, one of the critical steps we've taken to support business recovery was to establish the Back to Business Resource Center. The Back to Business Resource Center is a locally administered center that provides small businesses with information on recovery-related contracts, support, and resources to help them resume operations as quickly as possible. The center also offers shared office space with access to internet, phones, computers, printers, and meeting rooms for business owners to use, as well as business specialists that can provide advisory support and guidance. For example, some of the current program offers uh, or offerings include the Ask an Expert program, which provides one-on-one -on -one accounting, legal, and sales and marketing expertise. The Back to Business Coaching Program, a one-on-one -on -one management coaching program, marketing seminars, and networking events. Since first opening in June, the Back to Business Resource Center has been responding quickly to the needs of local businesses. To date, 155 businesses have utilized the center and 14 businesses have utilized the office space. And I am confident that support will only increase now that the centre is fully operational. And I, I have to tell a very quick anecdote that uh, this morning I had uh, the pleasure of, of touring a couple of uh, businesses, small businesses here in Fort McMurray. And uh, I am confident that the businesses and the business community in Fort McMurray and in the whole regional municipality of Wood Buffalo will come back stronger uh, than before, uh, before the fires. Uh, there's incredible work, incredible supports. Uh, you'll see uh, the, the folks in the wonderfully pink, uh, bright pink shirts that, uh, that have been helping provide support to our businesses. Um, and the other thing that I find uh, incredible, talking to business owners about how uh, businesses are supporting each other. They are coming together, uh, and I would argue uh, all of uh, our Fort McMurrians, all uh, people within the regional municipality, are really wanting to support each other to buy local um, and uh, and help each other through this recovery process. And I think that culture is uh, is incredible. I think it's uh, it's it's very positive, and uh, it gives me confidence that uh, we are going to uh, to build and rebuild even stronger than we were before. So, in conclusion, I'll, I'll wrap up by saying small businesses are critical to the resilience of the community as a whole. We understand the urgency for business owners and employers to have access to these supports quickly. Our government will continue to work in cooperation with our partners to support small businesses and economic recovery in the region. And uh, before I open the floor to questions, uh, one of our partners that I would, I'm honored to invite up uh, is Mayor, uh, Mayor Blake, who uh, has been an incredible advocate uh, and leader, uh, both uh, during the, uh, the, the disaster, but also in the, uh, in the recovery efforts. And uh, I'm, uh, it's my pleasure to, uh, to bring her up to the podium, but uh, also to thank her for all of the work and leadership that she's shown, along with uh, her council here in uh, the regional municipality. Mayor Blake. All right, well, thank you and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, distinguished guests, local business, if they're here or if they're just waiting for the next meeting around. 
Uh, people in the pink shirts, my people. I love having our pink, uh, pink shirt people. When I'm in council meetings, I love having the pink lanyard people. There's something about pink and recovery that gives me great hope and optimism. I'm here today on behalf of Regional Council and the spirited residents of Wood Buffalo, delighted to be at the Back to Business Resort Center with Minister Villas as we honor our vibrant business community. The Wood Buffalo business community is unlike any other. When we put together the strong, resilient together, we thought about our safe, resilient, and together, sorry. Safe, of course, was very imminent as it related to the wildfire circumstances that we were in and our taking our path out of the community as well as every step we've taken coming back into the community. Resilient is what we were before the fire happened, and now, gosh darn it, I think we're even more resilient. But the big, the big T, the big together, is the one that probably means the most. As our region's hardship, uh, you and your peers in the business community stepped up to the plate in returning to McMurray and getting your organizations back into full swing. And the businesses that make up our region, of course, are essential to our community as a whole, fulfilling the wants and needs of residents and also contributing greatly to the quality of life in uh, the dynamic economy as well for Alberta. It's resilient business owners that have persevered through this trying time and demonstrated commitment to supporting customers, which is the very definition, I believe, of entrepreneurialism. For many, upon return to business, it wasn't as simple as, okay, back to work, let's get it done. When you own a business and you have a staff to consider, you have finances to organize, daily operations that are dependent on so many things, there's no going back to normal after what our region has overcome. What our incredible business community, though, has done and is continuing to do is to invent the new normal. And for our local businesses to accept that challenge in the optimistic way that they have, I will tell you, I couldn't be prouder to be the mayor of this great region. The economy in our region has faced many challenges over recent years. If I put it in the frame of a decade, you'll have seen the really abundant uh, good times. You'll have seen the down times because we are living them now as we have a few times in the past. You've seen the no existence times. Yeah, that was the month of uh, May. And now what you've got is times that are both really robust and really down at the same time. And it's sort of the first experience that I think I've seen that way. Through it all, our local business owners have remained strong and resilient while contributing to that quality of life. And with a profound degree of sincerity, I want to thank our, our inspiring business community for their tireless commitment to being the backbone for our region. And I also want to give sincere thanks to Minister Billis and his colleagues for joining us here today and for supporting us so very well every step of the journey. And this one, this journey is about getting back to business, not as normal, but as the new normal. And when we do that, we will do it better and stronger for certain. So thank you and appreciate the opportunity to be here today sharing the stage with folks who make this possible in our region. Thank you to the Pink Shirts and everybody who support them as well. Thank you both very much. And with that, we're going to open up the floor to questions uh, from media. I'll let you explain, Mayor Blake. This is your, your crew. My pink shirt people are the people that were here before the fire and they're here after the fire with an even greater focus and concentration on business development in Wood Buffalo. They are, in fact, staff members that we've had in our business and economic development arm, and they have been uh, doing their very darndest to engage with local businesses to assess the needs and to fill the gaps the best that they can through that process. In fact, our local uh, arm of that economic development certainly was actively engaged that way. So they did exist before, and as I say, the focus now has a bit more poignancy as it's related to some of the complications from the fire. Sure, so that's the, uh, uh, through my Ministry of Economic Development and Trade, that we uh, are supporting the, uh, the Back to Business uh, Support Center. And so when we go on a tour, you'll see all the different supports, mentorship programs, uh, and uh, again, the Ask an Expert one-to-one. -one. Uh, these are 
the program dollars uh, flowed through my Ministry of Economic Development and Trade, but we wanted to ensure that uh, that the folks here in Fort McMurray who are on the ground, who live in the community, work in the community, know the community, are the ones delivering the programs. And so that's the uh, where the great partnership comes in between the government of Alberta and the regional municipality. So this uh, is a support center, so more to do with, with mentorship, having access to experts, whether it's accountants or, uh, or business managers, uh, ensuring that businesses are aware that this exists. And so, uh, you know, I think now is a great time for me to thank all of you from the media for being here, because quite frankly, we want to get the message out that this support center exists. This is here for businesses in uh, the regional municipality of Wood Buffalo. Uh, there are staff that, uh, that staff this, um, well, I can't say around the clock, but uh, you know, but uh, during business hours, and uh, they're here to support businesses if they have questions, if they need support, uh, if they need uh, access to, uh, of course, the uh, the grants uh, that uh, that were issued, the thousand dollar grants. Uh, that deadline has been extended, and so uh, businesses that haven't accessed it still can. Well, yes, uh, there, there have been a significant number, and I think I said in my speech, 155, I believe, have have come through. Uh, but that doesn't include the hotline, which, of course, has been going for some time now, uh, where there's been thousands of, uh, of folks have accessed the hotline to, to ask questions. And uh, again, our, our pink shirt friends uh, are busy going to businesses to let them know this exists. And so, you know, for me, that's really, really important that we're not just opening up a center and saying, come to us, come find us. We recognize entrepreneurs and, and business owners, they're busy. They're trying to get back on their feet. They may not have time to come access the center. And so our friends uh, from economic development from the regional municipality go out and visit with uh, small businesses regularly. Well, the, so the Small Business Support Center was a result of the fires. Uh, the, the support center didn't exist. That was one of the Government of Alberta's responses as far as supports for small businesses. Um, I can tell you that uh, there will be uh, more uh, supports coming. Uh, so that's just a little bit of a, a sneak preview of stay tuned. Uh, but uh, again, you know, one of the reasons that this model has been so successful is, uh, is again, the fact that it's a partnership. It's not uh, the government of Alberta uh, parachuting in and saying, no, we're going to take over and, and do this. I mean, the experts are here in the community already, and so we're working with them. You know, it's been very positive. So I've uh, I've only had a chance to visit a few small businesses uh, this morning, but I can tell you that uh, they've been they are very very thankful as far as having that mentorship. I mean, when I look at you know supports for small businesses, and this is why I believe that the small business community in the regional municipality are going to come back stronger than they were before the fire. Uh, when I travel the province and I talk to businesses, you know, the two issues that businesses have uh, often that come up the themes access to capital, which again our government's addressed uh, through a variety of tools, um, and also uh, mentorship. And so entrepreneurs, you know, are, are busy people. They're not necessarily expert accountants, managers, knowing how to, to navigate uh, regulations, etc. And so this center is critical to helping them, you know, whether it's access resources or get back on their feet uh, as quickly as possible. And so uh, I'm thrilled of the uh, success that we've had and the fact that this business center will be staying open uh, for, uh, for a fairly long time so that uh, businesses, as they recover, they're all going to be in different stages, different steps, uh, but they will have access to the resource center. Yes, they absolutely can, and, and again, uh, this is where I'm very thankful that uh, you folks from the media are here because we need to get the message out to small businesses that this support center exists. There are supports, mentorships, one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, training available, um, and we want them to to know and hear about it. And uh, you know, frankly, our, our pink shirt folks go out and visit the small businesses. We recognize that there are a significant number of small businesses that operate out of their homes, and uh, you know, our pink shirt friends. I, I don't think they're they're quite going door-to-door -door residential. Um, 
but uh, that's what makes it really important that small businesses reach out to uh, to the center and they can set up appointments and and our friends in pink shirts will uh, will go wherever they need to. Sorry, folks, we have time for one more question, and then we're going to go on a quick tour of the Back to Business Resource Center. Uh, which, uh, which small businesses uh, did you visit before right now? And this is where I'm going to need my pink shirt friends to... Uh... Won't that be promoting unfairly? Well, yeah, that, that might be. I mean, we... Oh, we... Local Tamarack, Village. Clothing. Tamarack Village is where we were. Yes, thank you, Mayor Blake. <laughs> All right, well, we invite you to join us on, uh, on the tour. Uh, if you haven't already, um, I'm quite excited, and we'll be joined by uh, Mayor Blake. So thank you again for coming out.